If you have a teenager, I'm a pediatrician and I want to give you some words of reassurance. I just want to tell you something that I've observed, uh, you know, through my decade of being a pediatrician. A lot of the times these teenagers, you know, starting at even the ripe old age of 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, they are driving their parents crazy. There are so many mood swings. There's so much erratic behavior, um, so much anxiety, mood swings, changes, just very difficult for the parents to deal with them. And they just fill their parents' lives full of worry. Now for one, I do want you to know that that is so, so common. You are not alone in this struggle. For two, I want you to know that they do really have a lot on their plate. It's not easy being a teenager in today's society. Remember the barrage of judgment that's coming their way, um, the added bonus of telephones, cell phones, I mean, not telephones, just age myself, um, social media, the amount of criticism that they offered to each other at school, uh, all of the things that they have to do to be cool, all the pressure of their curriculums, potentially sports and activities, sometimes feeling lonely, feeling that they don't have any good friendships or relationships. It's a lot. So a lot of them act out. And it's also part of their growth and their brain development. We all know about that prefrontal cortex that needs time to fully develop and mature. But I wanted to tell you this. I have so many patients that come see me for their 18th year checkup right before they're about to go off to college. And when I see them every time, I'm like, huh, you really did, you really did figure it out, didn't you? And suddenly the relationship with their parents is different. And suddenly they just seem mature and normal, dare I say. And suddenly everyone's happy. A big weight has been lifted off their shoulders because they've been pushing and struggling and hustling to get to graduation and they finally did make it. So a lot of the times, most of the times, everything turns out okay. So hang in there. I know everyone says you're going to miss these times, but you really are going to miss these times as challenging as they can be. And of course, I don't want this to make it seem like if your child is having mental health struggles that you shouldn't get it addressed. Please do get it addressed. But I did want to offer this observation of, of me. Like every time I walk into an 18 year checkup, I'm like, you're different because they really are. Try not to forget what it was like to be 14 and 15. It is a tough time. And most of us figure it out and your kid will too.